Hi, my name is Mark McCarney, and in this short video, we'll discuss the DP Flex relationship as it's used in the National Federation of State High School Associations 2012 Softball Rules Book under Rule 3.3, Article 6. The DP Flex is a powerful tool in the hands of a coach who understands the rule. Here's why. Suppose a team has a hot glove a true vacuum cleaner in the infield, but she can't hit a lick, a guaranteed out when she comes up to bat. Suppose that team also has a player who is almost guaranteed to get on base one way or another, can steal second before the catcher can stand up, but struggles defensively. DP Flex allows a team to turn this situation into an advantage instead of a disadvantage. They can use ten weapons against the opposition's nine, they can use their nine best fielders and bat their nine best, even if they aren't the same nine. Most coaches understand this part of the DP flex rule, since it's very similar to the DH rule from baseball. However, if this is all they use the DP flex rule for, they are missing its most powerful possibilities. Here are some examples for coaches. In these examples, the DP is batting for the pitcher, listed as the flex in the tenth position. It's a hot August day with oppressive humidity. This is your third game of the afternoon and your players are dragging. In the second inning, your shortstop is struggling. So you send the DP out to play shortstop. This is not a substitution, it is merely a defensive position swap. The DP is now handling the defensive function of the shortstop and is handling the offensive batting function of the pitcher. Next inning, the shortstop is back and ready to take the field, but the left fielder now needs a breather. So the DP is going to play left field defensively, just like at shortstop the earlier inning. At this time, the DP is still the DP, the pitcher is still the pitcher, the shortstop is still the shortstop, and the left fielder is still the left fielder. There have been no lineup additions, no substitutions, just defensive position changes. Here's another example. It's the bottom of the seventh on a long tournament day. You are the visitors and have a one-run lead. Your opposition is a power-hitting team and has been giving your outfield a workout all day with long outfield fly balls. Your center fielder cannot continue due to the heat. The top of their order is due up, but you have used all of your substitutions. Without the DP flex, you would be forced to try and hold back this team with eight players on defense. You, however, understand the DP flex rule, and you send the DP in to play center field. Just like the example one, this is not a substitution. It is merely a defensive position swap. You can avoid having to try to finish the game shorthanded with a huge gap in the outfield against a power-hitting team. And if they do tie the game, you have not removed the center fielder from the game so she has time to recover for her time at bat. Let's talk about starting lineup. With DP Flex, you have 10 starters, not 9. Both the DP and the Flex are starting players. The DP and the Flex must be indicated on the starting lineup. Once the starting lineup has been given to the umpire, these positions cannot be added. As with any substitution, a substitute bats where the player she replaced was batting. DP and flex are joined at the hip with respect to the batting order. If both players are in the game, the flex has number 10 in the batting order. Basically, she doesn't bat. The only place in the batting order that either DP or the flex can bat is the place the DP occupied at the beginning of the game. In a normal substitution, one player leaves the game and one player enters the game. However, swapping the DP flex for each other is a half substitution. That is, only one member of the pair officially leaves the game or officially re-enters the game. For example, if the DP comes in on defense for the flex, the flex has left the game. And the lineup goes back to 10. If the flex re-enters on defense, which she can one time, 
the DP returns to offense only, and the lineup goes back to 10 players. This move has not affected the DP's starter, substitution, reentry status in any way. Let's take the reverse example. If the flex comes in on offense for the DP, she's replacing the DP in the batting order. The lineup goes from 10 to 9. In this case, the DP is removed from the game, and the substitute reentry rule applies to the DP. If the DP re-enters, she will reassume her original position in the batting order, and the lineup will go from 9 to 10, and the DP will have used up her re-entry rights. The flex will return to playing defense only. This move has not affected the flex starter, substitution, or re-entry status in any way. Either the DP or the flex can be substituted for in the usual ways by other players but the substitute takes on the position of the DP or flex, depending on who she's substituting for. As with any lineup, defensive position swaps are not substitutions. The DP starts at the defensive position of F10 Benchwarmer. This means you can swap the DP with any player other than the flex on defense, and no one has left the game. It is not a substitution. The player removed from defense continues to bat in her normal place in the batting order. The flex can also be moved from her starting defensive position to any other defensive position except for F10, the DP, and she remains the flex and is not a substitution. The 2012 National Federation of High Schools Softball Rule 3.3, Article 6, states that a team may use the DP flex option provided it is made known prior to the start of the game. We'll look a little deeper into this rule. Part A states the DP's name is indicated on the lineup as one of the nine hitters in the batting order. Part B states the name of the player for whom the DP is batting, also known as the flex, will be placed in the 10th position in the lineup. Part C states, the DP must remain in the same position in the batting order for the entire game. Part D states, the DP may be substituted for at any time by a legal substitute, or the flex may play offense for the DP. In either case, the DP will leave the game. If replaced by a substitute, the DP position remains in the lineup. A starting DP may re-enter one time, provided the DP returns to the original position in the batting order. If replaced by the flex, this reduces the number of players from 10 to 9. The game may legally end with 9 players. If the DP re-enters, or a substitute enters as the DP, and the flex is batting in the DP spot, the flex can A. Return to the number 10 position and play defense, or B. Leave the game if the DP plays defense for the flex. Now we'll take a look at a couple situations out of the 2012 National Federation of High School Softball Casebook. 3.3, Article 6, Situation A states, in the fifth inning, M. Monty enters the game as the DP and is placed at the end of the batting order. What's the ruling? Illegal. The DP must be announced prior to the start of the game with her name entered on the starting lineup. Situation B reads... D.P. L. Johnson hits a triple and sprains her ankle sliding into third base. The coach has substitute R. Grindle enter the game to be a pinch runner for M. Monty.
How does this affect the playing status of the DP and the flex player, for whom the DP L. Johnson is batting? Ruling. When a pinch runner or pinch hitter replaces the DP, the player becomes the new DP. DP L. Johnson can re-enter later, or the flex M. Monty could bat in substitute R. Grindel's position later and it wouldn't be illegal. Situation C. In the first inning, the DP L. Johnson, listed in the third spot on the batting order, hits a double. Substitute R. Grindel replaces DP L. Johnson on second base. In the fourth inning, substitute J. Davis bats for R. Grindle and has a 1-1 one one count. The coach elects to replace J. Davis with the flex, M. Monty. What's the ruling? Ruling. Flex M. Monty is an unreported substitute. The umpire shall issue a team warning to the coach of the team involved, and the next offender shall be restricted to the dugout. When Flex M. Monty bats, this removes DP L. Johnson from the game and requires re-entry to return to the game. Situation D. Flex M. Monty begins the game playing defense at second base. In the fourth inning... Without reporting, she bats in place of L. Johnson, the starting DP. What's the ruling? Ruling. Flex M. Monty is an unreported substitute. The umpire shall issue a team warning to the coach of the team involved, and the next offender shall be restricted to the dugout. When Flex M. Monty bats, this removes... DP L. Johnson from the game and requires re-entry to return to the game. Situation E. Team A is using 10 players in its lineup, with the DP L. Johnson batting third. Flex M. Monty is playing right field and is a very fast runner. In the first, third, and sixth innings, DP L. Johnson gets on base, and in each case, the flex M. Monty is put in to run. Is this legal? Ruling. It is legal for the defensive position player, Flex, to do this since she never left the game. However, it would be illegal for the starting DP L. Johnson to return to bat the sixth inning. This is a violation of the re-entry rule. Let's continue the visual to see how this situation would be handled. As we can see, Flex M. Monty has been substituted for DP L. Johnson. If DP L. Johnson is batting in the third inning, this means that she has used her one re-entry into the game. Now that Flex M. Monty has re-entered, DP L. Johnson is out of the game. When DP L. Johnson takes her first pitch in the sixth inning, she is in violation of the re-entry rule. This violation results in an illegal substitution. Thanks for watching, and I hope you've got something out of this video. Good luck this year.